नमस्कार वेलकम टू अवर लेटस नो सीरीज अगेन इनफैक्ट आई हैड टू ड्रॉप माई दिस गवर्नमेंट रूल्स रिलेटेड वीडियोस डूरिंग माई सर्विस नाउ दैट आई हैव रिटायर्ड आई हैव स्टार्टेड नाउ फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ employees who are there you know first uh, video i'm planning to <coughs> discuss on commutation of pension commutation of pension is available for the central and state government employees and uh, this commutation of pension is one of the most important retirement benefits of central and state government employees for central staff retiring and under old pension scheme 50% of the last drawn salary is fixed as basic pension on retirement of course this uh, old pension scheme and uh, new pension scheme you met up here government has introduced new pension scheme which is now called as national pension scheme for those employees who have joined from 1st january 2004 so this video is not for the employees who have joined on or after 1st january 2004 in central and most of the state governments and of course we can discuss in a separate video on national pension scheme also and uh, so this is applicable to the people who are already in service before 1st january 2004 so an employee retiring or a retired employee can commute up to 40% of the pension fixed that is basic pension fixed <coughs> now an employee retiring on supervision superannuation is now it is 60 years is entitled to a commutation factor of 8.194 this is nothing but the calculation value a person can commute up to 40% of his pension so that value is to be multiplied by 12 and this factor suppose if the person retires at the age of 60 so this is calculated on the age next birthday that is 61 years so that is given 8.194 as a factor commutation factor so the calculation shall be as commuted value of uh, that is 40% of the pension multiplied by 12 for 12 months in a year and multiplied by 8.194 which is something like little more than 8 years so example assuming that the basic pension or basic salary at the time of retirement is 50000 of an employee so his pension is to be fixed at rupees 25000 now with the revised government policy of pension fixation after the 6th central pay commission normally the last salary will be always the highest there are two rules one is last salary or last 10 months average salary normally last 10 months average salary will not fetch more than the last salary drawn unless the employee was reverted during the last 10 months or his salary was dropped for whatever reason then there is likely to be lesser value otherwise uh, this uh, <clears throat> in that case last salary is likely to become lesser salary so the last 10 months average might be advantageous okay those pension fixation we can discuss separately Uh, this video we are trying to discuss on commutation of pension only so the commutation value is to be calculated like this assuming that 50000 is the basic pay so 25000 is the pension 40% of the 25000 is 10000 rupees so i have made the value round for easy calculation so this is the formula for calculation of commutation of pension so 10000 is the commuted value 
So the age next birthday on retirement at the age of supernation is which is 60 years is 61 years for which the commutation factor is 8.194. So 10,000 multi multiplied by 12 and multiplied by 8.194. That fetches the amount of rupees 9 lakhs 83,280, which is something like nearly 10 lakhs rupees. Now this 10,000 rupees will have to be recovered by government. They will deduct from the pension. So the pension order will say the basic pension is 25,000 for a salary of 50,000 at the time of retirement and uh, residuary pension, the residual pension as 25 minus 10, 15,000. Don't get panic. This 10,000 is totally deducted from the total pension, though it is shown like this. The reason is the dearness relief will be calculated on the basic pension of 25,000. And then this residual pension will be added. So the net result is against the gross pension, 10,000 rupees recovered for a period of 15 years. Of course, thereafter this money will be restored to the pensioner. So now, Another important point is the commuted portion of 10,000 whatever in the example we have told will not be recovered if it is family pension. So our life is not in our hand. So God's grace if the person uh, lives uh, 15 years after the retirement that is up to 75 years then his recovery will be stopped from that date. In case uh, he lives behind family and the spouse is to be paid family pension, there will be no recovery of commuted value of pension. Whether actual recovery has happened for one month or one year or 14 years, 19 months, I mean 14 years, 11 months. Okay, after 15 years automatically even pension also will be restored fully. So what I'm trying to say is government ignores once the retiring has passed away. So the family pension, whatever rate is fixed, will be paid to the family as per their entitlement. We'll discuss on those points in a separate video because I want to make the video simple and uh, specific to commutation of pension. And second point is commuted value of the pension is not taxable. So the 9 lakhs plus little less than 10 lakhs, whatever we calculated now, is not taxed at the time of retirement. In the sense, all the retirement benefits, gratuity, leave in cashman on retirement, and commuted value of pension, everything is exempt from tax. But pension is taxable. Every month, like salary, pension is also taxable. And uh, Assuming that you don't go for commutation, so full pension value will be taxed. Here, the amount is reduced, only that for that you are getting tax liability. So, when you invest this uh, nearly 10 lakhs rupees, you are likely to get, even in the present day of lesser uh, interest time, some 7.5 to 8%. Some bank pay, pays more also for the senior situation. So you get uh, annually for the 10,000 recovery, you get interest per month, some 6,555 or something. It is in some case more also. And uh, <clears throat> now the marginal loss is likely to be around 3,000 plus but you have a lump sum of around 10 lakhs in your account which can be invested though you have put it as FD as I suggested now. If it is required for some purchase of house or some flat, this money will be of use. Something like that. All these are all, if it has to be properly invested, that is what is important. So if you take into account income tax liability on pension without commutation, then the presumed loss is very marginal or negligible with a lump sum asset of approximately rupees 10 lakhs at hand. 
government provides this facility which every retiring employee with old pension scheme should opt for and get benefited my experience in my service i worked for more than uh, 20 years as drawing and dispersing officers around 2 3 years as uh, head of office in the last leg of my career i never allowed a single person who retired during my tenure as ddr at head of office to go without commutation of pension i have come across with some people who refused to apply for commutation of pension but i used to call them and explain them all these points that government provides this facility and you will not lose anything normally their uh, hesitation <coughs> is no i need more money as pension this recovery will be a problem for me but i used to explain all these uh, interest earning and all those things and tax benefit and everybody has accepted my view and they have gone for, for commutation of pension okay we'll meet in, in the next video thank you